these two pins are connected together and connected to ground as you can see also this are connected to ground this is the positive terminal this positive terminal is connected directly to the switch okay this is the switch this one is positive as you can see here and this one inside as you can see here inside is the negative terminal okay so the positive terminal should be connected as you see to this two terminals as you see here because this is the red color red colors means positive and black color means negative hi again we're going to see the laptop motherboard power jack so we're going to check two laptop motherboard power jacks so we're going to see this power jack as you can see here this is the first power jack that we're going to check and this is the second so we're going to check this and this okay two motherboards so let's get started so as you can see here always in every motherboard or in every dead motherboard when you want to check a dead motherboard as we see before you should first check the whole motherboard in general visually and look for a bad component or a burned component and after if you find that all compounds are good in good state then you can go to the next step so the next step is to check the power jack as you can see so this is the power jack for this motherboard as you see this motherboard is for an hp laptop okay so always you can find hp laptop with this kind of power jack as you can see here to check this power jack you should first check check it if it is installed or not okay always check if this power jack is good is installed correctly in the motherboard or not okay so you can check its pins and terminals as you can see here okay always check this solder if it's good or not and also in the back as you can see so in the back of the motherboard also check its connection or the solder as you can see is it good or not if you find that the solder is not good you should do another solder okay okay so because if the solder is not good the continuity or the conductivity will be poor okay and then maybe the motherboard can be dead okay so always check this if it is in good state or not then as you can see here always the power jack you can find two terminals always the positive terminal and the negative terminal of course in some motherboard you can find three terminals positive terminals negative terminals and the id identification pins okay for the for deal for example for deal laptop you can find three terminals in its power jack okay so for this motherboard we have just two terminals okay the positive here we have the positive in this hole and the negative here okay i will draw for you the symbol of the power jack okay so as you can see here okay always this is you can find a power jack with two terminals okay so not always but usually okay because there are some laptop like deal laptops the power jack of the d laptop have three terminals as i i see to you the positive 
okay terminal the negative terminal and the id okay terminal okay but usually you can find that the power jack has two terminals as you can see this is the positive terminal okay this is the positive okay plus and this is negative okay positive and negative okay so this is the power jack in general okay but as I, as I told you before, you can find a power jack with three pins, okay, or three parts or terminal, okay. So for this kind of laptop, as you can see here, so we have here, as you can see, two terminals, okay. So let's check these pins, okay. So let's put the multimeter to the continuity option as you can see this is the continuity option and then power on the multimeter so this is the first pin this is the positive pin as you can see here okay so this is the positive pin here right here and this is the negative these two are negative Okay, so let's power on the multimeter and let's check the continuity. So this is the positive pin and these two are negative. Okay, as you can see. So let's check another motherboard. So here, as you can see, this is the second motherboard, as you can see here okay so this motherboard as you can see we have here as you can see two terminals as you can see here this this is a positive terminal okay so this is positive and here around this positive we have the negative terminal okay and it's clear here as you can see it's clear so So we have our power jack as you can see here and we have our multimeter always we should put the multimeter to the continuity option and then use the multimeter probe okay so this two okay so this is these four pins are for this power jack so these two pins is a ground as you can see these two pins are connected together and connected to ground as you can see also these are connected to ground this and this now this is the positive terminal as you can see this is not connected and not connected also to the ground so this is positive terminal as you can see this positive terminal is connected directly to the switch okay this is the switch and here this is the negative terminal okay okay so if we check so this is the positive terminal this are positive so let's put one probe here and put another probe here in this pin so this is a bad power jack as you can see no continuity this is a bad power jack okay this is a bad power jack let's check this the negative probe here good here the negative is around as you can see this is the negative this one Okay, as you can see this is negative but the positive as you can see is not connected bad so I will check so let's see this clearly okay and of course here if you focus here we have here a burned this power jack is burned out do you see do you see here this this power jack is burned out 
we have a problem in this power jack. So this is the positive terminal. Mm -hmm. And over here, as you can see, we here in inside, as you can see, do you see? This is the negative terminal and this is, this is the positive terminal. And here, do you see this burned? So this is this positive terminal is not connected to the motherboard is not connected to the motherboard here so here we find that the power jack is bad that's why this motherboard is dead so if we change this power jack the motherboard will be operated correctly okay so this is all about the power jack always you should check the power jack check if the power jack is fixed to the motherboard correctly and also you should check the solder okay the solder you should check if the solder is good in good state or not if you find that the solder is not in good state you should the solder do another solder a new solder okay and then check if the power jack is connected correctly to the motherboard or not okay and then check using the multimeter the continuity between the negative pins to do negative pins in the motherboard and the positive pins in the power jack to the positive pins in the motherboard okay now we're going to see the power jack cable okay so i will show you and i will teach you how to check the power jack cable and then resume if the power jack cable is good or not okay so we have seen before that the first thing to do is to check the motherboard visually the whole motherboard and look for a bad component or a burned ic etc and then if you find that the motherboard in general is in good state you should then move to check the power jack and we have seen that the power jack should be connected correctly to the motherboard and should be soldered to the motherboard correctly and also we have seen how to check the power jack the continuity of the power jack between the negative terminal and the, the other negative terminal in the motherboard and the positive terminal to other positive terminal in the motherboard now I will show you how to check the power jack cable so here we have two kind of motherboard as you see this is one kind of motherboards okay so with this power jack as you see this is the power jack here but this power jack is not connected connected directly to the motherboard this power jack is connected to the motherboard via this cable as you can see here okay so we have another motherboard with another motherboard with the same principle as you can see here so this is the power jack as you can see here okay always the power jack have two terminals one positive terminal and the other is negative terminal okay so this also this power jack is not connected to this motherboard directly it is connected to the motherboard via this long cable as you can see here so how can we check if the cable is in good state or not i show you how so let's begin first with this motherboard okay so let's begin with this motherboard so to check the cable you should first prepare your motherboard as you can see here and then use of course the multimeter as you can see here okay 
So let's put first the multimeter to the continuity option, as you can see here, and there power on the multimeter. Okay, as you can see. <coughs> And then let's check the continuity if the continuity is seated correctly or not. Okay, so the continuity is seated correctly. Okay, so now as you can see, so as I told you before, this is a power jack exactly like the normal power jack that is connected to the motherboard. So here, this one is positive as you can see here and this one inside as you can see here inside is the negative terminal okay so the positive terminal should be connected as you see to this two terminals as you see here because this is the red color red colors means positive and black color means negative so this pin should be should have a continuity directly to these two wires as you see these two wires are exactly here as you can see and this terminal inside this power jack as you can see here inside should be connected to these two wires the black wires means these two terminal so let's check so first I will put one probe here so this is the positive probe as you can see here okay and then go here and check so this is the first one and this is the second one now the cable the positive wires of the cable is good are good but if I check with black as you see terminal no continuity as you can see but if I go here, as you can see, here, so let's put this probe here, as you can see, okay? I put the probe here in the terminal and then go here to black, as you see, I have continuity, okay? But no continuity with the read wires, means this is a good cable, okay? So now we check between the power jack and the connector, okay? So I can draw for you this cable, okay? So this is the positive terminal, okay? And this is the negative terminal, okay? So here we have a connector, as you see. So this is connector. Let's draw this connector with a different color okay we have here a connector so this connector contain four pins as you see two pins here and other pins here so this positive terminal is connected to these two pins and this negative terminal is connected to these two pins exactly like this motherboard as you can see so the power jack we have here two black wire and two red wire exactly like this okay so this connector is this and this and this power jack is this here of course we have five pins as you can see here but this pin is not connected as you can see here nothing here 